Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to show you how to apply video backgrounds in Uncode to create compelling and eye catching sections or site headers. In Uncode, it's possible to apply a video from the media library, whether it's self hosted or a video streaming, as the background of a row or a column. If you haven't seen the multimedia video and audio dedicated tutorial, I suggest you to check it since we illustrate how to import and use video from external sources like YouTube and Vimeo. To apply a video, you just need to open the row settings or column settings and, in the Style tab, add it as background, as it is a simple image. You can include YouTube or Vimeo, but in this tutorial, I use a self hosted video. That's it. Our video has been applied as the background of our section. Everything is simple and intuitive. When you apply a video as the background of a row or a column, the video will automatically auto play and will run muted. Now we can fine tune the layout. For example, by inserting a useful overlay level in case we have, as in this case, a textual content. This can help contrast and therefore improve readability. Of course, thanks to the overlay options, you can also create creative combinations, for example using colors, gradients, or blend mode options. Here's a variation. In just a few clicks, we have a whole new effect. On mobile device with Uncode, you can either set an autoplay self hosted mobile video background or set a media poster image fallback replacement for mobile video background. Please note that video backgrounds are not available on mobile devices by default, but it can be activated. Most of the users will not be happy if you start video streaming that consumes their monthly data traffic or device battery for a visual background effect. To enable the image fallback for video backgrounds, you just need to apply a media poster image to the video. We have already seen in the video dedicated to multimedia how to apply a poster image. The process is very simple. You just need to import your poster image. I've already imported in the media library this image. Generally, it's a frame of the video, but it can be anything. In this case, it's indeed a frame of the video. So, to achieve consistency, you just need to copy the ID. And I paste it in the appropriate option that you have when the video is selected. Now the poster image is connected with the video. Since these features must be tested with a read device, I open our page with the Chrome Developers Tools. That is a good and fast method to emulate and test a mobile device. Here we are. This is our poster image. As you can see, instead of the video, we have the poster static image. This method is necessary if you use a YouTube or Vimeo video. In fact, with these services, it's not possible to auto play the video background on mobile devices. If alternatively you have a self hosted video, it's possible to auto play it in mobile as video background. To enable an auto play self hosted video background on mobile, you just need to activate the dedicated option Mobile Video Background. I navigate to our testing page, I refresh the page, and there you go. Our background video on a mobile is ready, and it works in all devices that support it. Of course, the poster image will become fallback of mobile devices that do not support video background.